when it comes to good uh, news websites that actually, you know, can give you an unbiased opinion here, you know, uh, in terms of not in the pocket of Marvel or DC or, or Disney or Warner Bros. or anything like that, you know, Bleeding Fools out there and then Bounty Comics. And, and I've used our, some of their articles before and they're really great, really great articles. Every now and then, a couple of them does an opinion piece. And uh, it's, it's labeled opinion piece because that way the website's not saying, you know, this is our, you know, stance. But it's not an opinion. This is somebody trying to argue for this. They've had one, uh, why Batman's no kill rule is outdated. This is the recent one that I just saw the other day. Opinion, why Wonder Woman works best as an anti-heroine. Basically arguing for her to be a brutal uh, hack and slash, um, playing loose, fast and loose with the rules and the morals. You know, wanting her more like this injustice version. I will give the art, uh, the art, the author of the article credit for uh, saying that she's an anima figure, you know, for youngie. Because not a lot of people probably even watch my video. I bet because um, I've made. Let me drop that in the chat. Actually, my Wonder Woman playlist with uh, videos upon videos. But he does. But he leaves out one. He leaves out a crucial ingredient, and it and it, because he can't because he has no concept of, or because he's not showing any concept of this crucial ingredient when it comes to either Wonder Woman or any hero. He completely misses the mark about any of these characters, and he doesn't understand any of them at all. His argument kind of goes into almost more of like a feminist idea of, you know, uh, why shouldn't Wonder Woman be allowed to grow and be more, uh, you know, um, you know, nuanced and you know, so so uh, you know, like a Harley Quinn or a Poison Ivy, they're sort of animal figures too, but they're allowed to grow like this. Why should she, you know, still be goody two shoes? That kind of idea. This is what he says though: Superman has a god complex imposed upon him by his societal obligations. Bruce's Batman pathological orderliness is a yin yang with Joker's apolitical anarchist chaos. I'm sorry, bro, but I'm not going to hear anything you have to say about wonder woman. When you just told me that Superman has a God complex. Yep, exactly. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> do not understand Superman Completely. and you're not understanding wonder woman either. Nor there Batman. are, Huge similarities between Superman and Wonder Woman in their in the whole argument that they should not be growing beyond absolute good. There shouldn't be that kind of nuance. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can you can think of them as godlike. That's fine. What's important is he never sees himself as a god. He sees himself as a boy who grew up on a Kansas farm who happens to have these abilities that for, for which he has a responsibility to do as much good in the world as he can, but mm -hmm. he would be doing as much good in the world as he could. If he didn't have those powers, he is that's who he is. Yeah. yeah. He's constantly he, restraining himself because he does not want to rule. And, exactly. And, yeah. You know, what I know of Diana is she had a kind of humility because of where she grew up. You know, she, she wasn't a goddess, she worshipped the Greek, Greek gods. She knew her place in the world. And she was sent as an ambassador. Again, she had a responsibility to her people and to the, to the rest of the world. And she mm -hmm. took that seriously. And mm -hmm. at the forefront of all that, what was, what was her, her, her primary superpower? I mean, she's got the strength. She can deflect bullets. Deflect bullets, a defensive power. Mm -hmm. But what is her, her, her big one? It's the lasso of truth. Mm -hmm. It's about truth. It's not about, you know, stomping the bad guy. It's not about being this mega warrior. She isn't given a sword. She's given a lasso of truth. Mm -hmm. Now she, we just got to hang that on our belt and give her a sword instead. Yeah, yeah. she She's a heroic feminine. She is. Yeah. She is the, the big sister, the mother, the, the aunt, the, you know, the, the, prote the protective, uh, female character, uh, you know, I don't know if how I'm trying to state it. Yeah, I love the things you guys are saying because you guys are, are walking all around the, the point I want to make here. Oh. And I love it. It's a great <laughs> setup. No, it's a great setup because okay. the thing he doesn't understand, the thing this writer has no clue of is archetypes and how archetypes are important to these characters. You can't approach these characters as, as um just your average characters in literature or something that are characters in a movie these are 
archetypes that are ingrained in our consciousness and our cultural consciousness and are important. And they're going to keep showing up over and over again. He has, you know, you're talking about Superman. You know, Wonder Woman is very much like Superman and always doing the right thing. This is the aspirational hero. People, yes. and I've talked about it. This is my whole channel's built on this. I've done videos upon videos about the aspirational versus cathartic motivational. Um, and people just don't get the aspirational. They think, oh, it's just too unrealistic. They just, they have, they don't get it how vitally important it is. You can't have as many aspirational as you do other kinds, you know, obviously, but it's vital. And, and uh, in terms of the sub archetypes, Wonder Woman is a heroine not just an anima figure that's part of her you can't deny that mm -hmm. but she's a heroine she is there to show us the perfection of that of that feminine motherly big sisterly like you said al i love mm -hmm. you guys are just talking all around it the heroine archetype that's her i've you know I've dropped, let me drop in my chat i might have already done it but this is my um playlist again for uh the videos that i have on wonder woman i go through and i and i just talk about all the stuff that marston put in her in her um in her, in her character and how this works and the love of lore and how this plays out and how she developed to what she is today. People at, are losing their concept of the aspirational. They, they, and it happens every so often society, a culture gets to the point where they just think they're too cool for school. And uh, that's, that's just so dated, man. We don't need that kind of stuff anymore. And then something happens and, and, uh, and it brings them back to their senses and they realize, Oh, Actually, we kind of knew so need, do need something to look up to. We kind of mm -hmm. do need some inspiration. But every now and then, you know, the nihilistic little adolescence of culture has to rear its head and be like, we don't need that stuff, man. Batman should kill. And, and Snyder Superman was amazing because he was more real and blah, blah. You know, I mean, that's just <laughs> and it's happened over and over again. You know, I tell the story a lot because it's just a great example in recent memory. But when they were going to do Smallville, when they were putting that together and, and uh, releasing it to the media, that this was coming. Everybody was in the media. Was, this is so stupid. This is so hokey. We don't need a, a whole show about little Clark Kent in Smallville. And then 9-11 happened and they immediately overnight changed their tune. Wow. We really need a Superman show right now. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be great? We turns out that you know we're, we don't have the entire universe figured out and maybe we do have to look up to somebody now and then and maybe we could use a little inspiration and i so i just the, the, the insane short-sightedness of people trying to rewrite the precious yeah. few aspirational characters we have out there superman wonder woman captain america that let's rewrite them into darker complex you know cathartic motivational Leave them alone, damn it! You've got enough of those types of characters that you we need. Our precious few aspirational characters. Our culture doesn't work. 